More quantum! Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. My quantum video was very popular and I got a ton of comments asking for more. Three of them specifically asking for the uncertainty principle, which is constantly misinterpreted. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle, or sometimes just the uncertainty principle, is usually written as an inequality, like this, where this is the uncertainty in position and this is the uncertainty in momentum or motion. Oh, and one more thing? It's wrong! Really? It's wrong? Who are you to challenge? Not the principle, the interpretation! What you normally hear is something like this. The more you know about where a particle is, the less you know about what it's doing. This implies that somehow the technology we're using to make measurements is at fault. Nonsense! It shouldn't even be called the uncertainty principle. Because it's not really about uncertainty. It's about randomness. It should really be called the Heisenberg randomness principle. The proper way to write the principle would be like this. These two things here are not uncertainties. They're standard deviations. Together, they're always bigger than this universal number. Since it's really small, we don't ever notice it in everyday life. It's only important for really tiny things like protons and electrons. Wait, wait! What's a standard deviation? That's a little complicated. What we really need is some context. On a quantum level, all particles are described by wave functions. Probability waves. These little particles are inherently random, but some are more random than others depending on the circumstances. Particles are a little difficult to picture, so let's use me. Right now, you might feel pretty comfortable explaining to someone where I am on the screen. I'm in the middle, but what if this happens to me? Where am I on the screen now? Everywhere. In quantum, the standard deviation measures this spread for particles. It tells you something about how well you can predict what a measurement will be. So this principle says two things. One, we'll never be able to predict either position or momentum perfectly. And two, if our chances of predicting one go up, then the chances of predicting the other go down. In other words, if the wave for motion looks like this, then the one for position looks more like this, meaning it doesn't even make sense to ask where the particle is. A typical electron inside of an atom has a wave function that looks like this, which is the size of the entire atom. It's not that we don't know the position, it's that it doesn't have a position. Additionally, the principle doesn't just apply to position and motion. Just about anything you can measure about a particle is involved in at least one of these inequalities. Energy, lifetime, angular momentum, spin, and even sometimes mass. Mass? Yep, particularly for neutrinos. That's crazy. Seriously crazy. However, just like how relativity is about things that are not relative, the uncertainty principle is really about things that are not uncertain or random. It's about the things we can measure precisely together. With principles that don't look like this or this, but look like this. So, what was the last thing you weren't sure about? Please share in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.